Well, as you can see, uh, we're still in the middle of the, of the snow, but uh, I'm going to give it a shot today because uh, the low tide is about. Um, sorry, I've got uh, culture club in me ears here. Uh, the uh, low tide is at 6 p.m. and it's a super low tide, so it's it's minus 0.10 of a meter so it's minus one tenth of a meter uh, below sea level I think it is so uh, so yeah I'm gonna give it a shot and uh, I'm gonna head down to uh, down to the pier over there so uh, like you say it's uh, it's just coming up to four o'clock now and the, the tide's still quite far in so I'm gonna head down and uh, see how long we can last in this hopefully I shall get to see the low tide and I shall get right out by the pier like I say right out by the far end of the pier there so uh, anyway Stay with us, and uh, and we'll uh, we'll see what happens. All right, back soon. Well, as you can see, I'm up near the pier now. I've walked up the beach, and there's my first find. And we've just uh, singled it out there, and that looks like what is that? Oh, sorry. Let me put my earphones off my head then. That looks like some sort of. I'm imagining that's the base of a shotgun cartridge. I think is what that is or was. All right, on we go. Well, there's the next signal. Can you see it? It's peeking out at us there. Uh, it's a big penny by the looks of it. So, the one I got here last night was Irish. What's this one? And I can't see anything on it. But hey, do you know what? It's a good start. Right, we'll carry on. And yes, as to be expected, it's really cold, but uh, I think we've got another one in here somewhere. somewhere there, there we go. That looks like a modern penny by the looks of it. Yeah. Yeah, okay, modern penny. On we go. And there's another penny just in there. Oop. Yeah. Another new penny. All right, onwards. Well there we go, we don't need to pinpoint that one, just sitting on the surface there, big old penny. Oh. Decent condition as well. That's Britannia 1945. King George VI. Cool. There we go. And there's the next coin. Looks like a 2P. Looks like a new one as well. Yep, yeah, 2P. On we go. Here's the next one. <coughs> right next to the pier wall and there it is, look. A big penny, by the looks of it. Right next to the pier wall, like I say. And uh, don't know who that is. But we'll keep it and we'll go home. Oh, we'll take it home with us anyway. We're not going home yet. Alright, back soon. Well, next to the pier, a bit of fishing gear, look. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, I'll take that. Right, well, I'm, I'm down near the pier, as you can see, the tide's uh, just here at the moment. But it, it has got another, about another 40 odd minutes to go yet. So it's going to keep going out, hopefully. And I can get close to that pier there. Look. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, not a lot uh, so far. Lots of common uh, modern coinage, pennies and two pennies, but uh, obviously the uh, the old George VI uh, penny there as well, the big one. So, uh, so yeah, let's crack on and see what we can find. I'm going to have a dander around here while the tide's on its way out. So, uh, all right, back soon. Right, well. I'm going to make the most of this uh, low tide line. I'm going to head for home now and uh, work my way along the shore here. So uh, if I get anything else, I'll come back to you. Say, so, we're uh, we're losing light, but there's another coin. Two p by the looks of it. Bloody two pences. Huh? Eh? Huh? Eh? Yep, two p. God's sake. Well, uh, this is the next day from uh, from that beach hunt, uh, boys and girls, and uh, I'll do the roundup for it. Uh, so. Uh, let me uh, bob the camera on close up. Uh, you probably see there's a, actually I'll show you a couple of bits, look. <clears throat> there's a pair of these big, uh, big uh, forcepi type things, which I think uh, what the fishermen use. 
Um, so there's a pair of those. I didn't show those in the video. I didn't think they were that exciting. Me, uh, they were almost on the surface, really, just slightly buried in the sand. And uh, another spoon. Uh, this one is uh, a 19. I can't remember. Let me put the camera on close up when you have a nosy. There you go. It's so it's that 1956 F A M Co. 51886. No idea what that is. Uh, I don't think these uh, silver, probably just uh, stainless steel, I would imagine. So, uh, yeah, a spoon. A um, couple of fishing uh, lures. Seen better days. <coughs> And uh, that one's still got the loops on. Um, bit of scrap, scrap nail I got. Uh, that was the first thing again. I didn't show you that because I didn't think that was over exciting. Or maybe an old screw by the looks of it. Yeah, I think that's an old screw. Well worn. Uh, fishing weight. Uh, it wouldn't be a beach hunt if you didn't get a fishing weight. Uh, this thing. Um, absolutely not a, an idea of what that would have been if anybody's any ideas then uh, leave a comment it looks like it's cracked down that side it's obviously there's a pin goes through there and it looks like it's cracked there so but if you have any idea of what that was is or was what it was used for then uh, yeah leave a comment um this thing which i think is the base of a a shotgun shell so there would have been a, a primer in the middle there <clears throat> first one of those i found so i'm shooting in the bedroom here because my uh, my daughter's in the middle of baking uh coins so what did we get coins wise well we got oh crusty two pence and we got uh a not so crusty two pence actually it's quite a new one so uh, but two peas all the same and then we got uh, one penny so that's five p uh, one penny six p and uh, Queen Elizabeth and that's probably another yeah another penny seven p and what's this one here uh, I'm certain that's going to be another penny as well uh, actually I can't make anything out on there can you can't see whether that's a king or a queen, but I think on this side, I think that's the portcullis. Or would have been somewhere in there. Uh, and we got some big pennies as well. Uh, there we go. There's, I think, George the Fifth or Sixth, I think, one of the two. Uh, well worn. Can't see a date on there. Uh, so that's one well-worn big penny and this one is what's this one uh, hmm. well again I can't make anything out on there there's nothing on the other side <clears throat> so uh, yeah um, two well-worn ones and one probably one of the best condition ones I've found so far this is the last one uh, there he is King George the sixth that really is in good condition that was this is the one that was uh, literally on the surface and uh, 1945 there you go there's Britannia in all her glory one penny 1945 King George the sixth that's the best condition one I've found so far uh, I'll just uh, send put the camera back to normal bear with me um, yeah so uh, so yeah so it uh, it was a, a fun but freezing cold uh, bit of a hunt. Um, I did get one other thing. The, because the tide was so far out, um, I managed to uh, have a wander around uh, parts of the beach that I've never been on before, that I've never seen. And uh, now a lot of it is uh, is just uh, old uh, mussel shells. You know, it's quite sort of boggy and mushy because uh, it rarely gets exposed. But I did see a bottle and I picked it up. Um, I'm just going to give you a quick glance at this because I, I I really need to uh, I need to get it washed. But like I say, my daughter's in the middle of baking at the moment. Um, but it's actually a milk bottle, and uh, it looks 
it's the property of who is it Scottish farm some Scottish farmers corporation so that's going to look that might look quite good once it's cleaned up providing there's no cracks or breaks in it of course which I can actually see a crack in it there now look ah that means I'm not going to bother cleaning that that's a real shame I am just a little bit annoyed at that and it does say pasteurized on the bottom but it is cracked so it isn't worth me washing it ah well that's uh, that's be that's beach bottles for you that's straight for the bin that's a shame ah right ah well so yeah shame about the bottle but uh, uh that's one of those things with uh bottles on the beach is they get uh, tossed around by the the tide and time and uh, of course as you've seen that, that bottle's probably from uh, I'm guessing maybe uh, 60s or 70s so it's sat in there for 40 or 50 odd years and uh, and it's suffered a crack and uh, just as I know as soon as I wash that then it will uh, it'll just uh, break even more so uh, it's, there's no point in uh, me washing it and getting over excited for what it is when it's only going to end up in the bin in pieces so uh, so yeah so there you go anyway boys and girls instead of waffling on i shall uh, i shall leave you to it and i shall say that i will see you on the next hunt all right bye for now